What is up guys, it's Slay here and welcome back to another World of Warships Legends gameplay and today we are in the tier 7 German heavy cruiser, the Hipper, and this is the promised video of the uh, Kraken challenge that we had about two, three weeks ago I believe and the Hipper was actually the ship that I got the Kraken in for the Tier 5 French Destroyer. I believe it was the, uh, I might be botching this pronunciation, the Agil. I know I might be botching that pronunciation. But bear in mind that, uh, well, pronunciations are not my best suits. But anyways, uh, we are in this beautiful piece of machinery, German machinery, of course. And we're going to showcase how beautiful the ship is. And not just, you know, by its look, but just how the ship is still, even after the buff, is still reliable and usable in, you know, today's World of Warship Legend meta, quotation marks. And we have an toggle here, broadside, and, you know, wow. Broadside against a cruiser in a battleship. And it's still broadside as they're getting punished. And we're going to get another beautiful salvo there for two Citadels. And the North Carolina is going to finish off on that enemy right there. Now, as you can see, we are spotting a destroyer. Well, we're not spotting a destroyer, but someone is spotting a destroyer. And this Richelieu has seemed to not want to push forward, so at this point, winning your side is no longer in effect. And we're gonna put ourselves in uh, another position where we could be more useful. Instead of waiting for this Richelieu to actually push forward, we're gonna, you know, put ourselves in a situation where we're more, you know, useful, more reliable more you get what i mean but anyways we are running admiral admiral graphsby as our commander and we are running as well as our inspirations norman scott and nicolay and i'm not going to pronounce his last name because i might just watch that but i will try to say kunetsu kunetsu might have botched that as well but we do have a pablo emilio here spotted by our sonar you got to remember the hipper sonar can reach up to 5.3 with this build i have on in pablo emilio well he's not gonna be no longer with us in this game as oh my goodness that salvo was just disgusting did we just get four penetrations with about no damage there? Oh my goodness. Two penetrations with literally no damage there. And you know what? Our secondaries make up for that disgusting, horrible dispersion there. But anyways, we're back into this game with what our first kill on the Pablo Emilio and HE on a battleship. Yeah, um, the Hipper actually has pretty good HE. But we do switch to AP since it's giving us a broadside, flat side, actually. And we do get our second kill of the game there. Now, don't sleep on the Hipper's HE. It's, you know, really beautiful penetration. I believe it has the current buff to its AP, but don't sleep on the superior HE penetration there. Because that HE does pretty much a lot of damage when you have the uh, friendships that are, you know, allergic to HE due to the spacing in their armor there. But we do uh, yoink that the Nizno and we're spotting the Benzin at the moment with our Sonar. So I aggressively push forward to try to get rid of the Benzin as soon as possible to make this game go by faster and the kid over here is actually doing a good job avoiding those torps right there and we're gonna try to I try to go around the kid but he reversed so 
I'm going inside now. And yeah, the kid uh, is trying to launch his torpedoes at the same time, trying to go forward. And we really interrupt that right there. Uh, we do cause the kid to get hit by a torpedo. Unfortunately, that was my fault there. I was trying to see if I could have gone around him, but he was reversing, so I went inside and yeah, the kid gets sunk by a torpedo there and unfortunately if he would have went if we went around the kid, that most likely would have been us getting hit by about two to three torpedoes there. Benson torpedoes, by the way. But anyways, we are still in the game and we're Trying to hunt this Benson down. And we're up to four kills. We just need one more for the Kraken. And I believe it's a Amalfi and a Richelieu at the end. It's the same Richelieu that's still at the spawn. Hasn't moved since, well, the beginning of the game, which. It's pretty impressive. The Amalfi, on the other hand, is a Italian Tier 7 cruiser. Not a really good armor when you want to go broadside, especially against the Germans' AP here. And we're going to punish him as well. Yep, 14,000 for two Citadels. And we're trying to get another penetration there for Citadel, but unfortunately, I believe I might have hit pretty hard armor there that it bounces six shots out there. He smokes up and the Amalfi is going to be out of my sight for about 20 to what 22 seconds of smoke. So we're going to try to focus on this Richelieu and while I wasn't spotted here I decided to hold my shot because the Richelieu is going to focus more on me than he were to I believe the North Carolina he just sunk and the Tashkin that uh, I think is around the mountain or island over there since I'm the closest target to him he's most likely going to target me here so we're gonna try to bow tank here we see uh hipper and the more uh the most threat here would be the rich lose 380 millimeter gun so Trying to bow tank the Rich Lou is going to be kind of difficult here. And yeah, we do get hit. Could have been worse. Maybe we could have angled ourselves against that. The Malfi is going to send out some torps. And since, you know, he batched those torps there, he sends another round of torps. And unfortunately, that was one of his mistakes of sending those torps too early out. Since I had my sonar out there. North Carolina, I believe that was the North Carolina who punched punched them right there. Could be wrong. Uh, we're going to send some torps out there for the Richelieu. Just in case we, you know, run into an issue where I can no longer foul tank both of them. The Amalfi has 203mm guns, so I'm more on being more careful on the 308mm or 380mm guns. The Malfi is going to hit our bow there, front bow, and how much damage there. We send out one Torp and it does hit. And we're looking for that angled armor that the Italians have and voila, we get two Citadels with, along with a Kraken. And I believe another medal. Close quarter medal. Now, we end up with 91,400 or 548 damage. Top of the leaderboard was 250 or 2,555 XP, which is, you know, a pretty average game. One Torp hit, we shot down one plane, five destroyed ships, two fires, one flooding, seven Citadels. For a pretty average game in the Hipper, but it is a Kraken, so I did want to show you guys what my Kraken video was. I, I know I'm pretty much late with this video going on and i am a little backlogged with the videos i'm showing up but anyways guys if you enjoyed this video leave a like the next video is going to be maybe a charles martel kraken
Maybe. Anyways, guys, see you guys on the next video.